Hello everyone, I'm Rowan. I'm a featured artist of the Art Spreads and this is my social media takeover where I'll be able to walk you through some of my pieces, show you some of them, and talk about my process a bit more. And you can see I've got my Art Spread merch on. Um, there's tons of these available, so grab a shirt to show your support. And let's get started. Um, so a little bit about myself. I became um, a featured artist with the art spread in March and since then I've been able to have an artist interview with them and um, uh, write a blog post which is really great um, for getting like connecting my work with my experiences which is really nice to do it's a great opportunity and um, I've been featured in the newsletter and the shop page so let's dive into the art and I'll show you a little bit of what's available on the shop page right now. So we'll start with the original paintings. This one is called Faded. Um, and this is an original painting, like I said, it's nine by 12 on mineral paper. It's custom matted to fit a 12 by 16 frame. So you can pop it right into a frame um, all of these are going to be available at theartspread.org slash shop and take a look at the, at the back. I love originals. Um, I love getting to see the process that's happening on the back of them and the story of how they came to be. Um, so this one is called Faded, like I said, and um, it's made with alcohol ink. And the detailing is done when I dip uh, my brush into 91% isopropyl alcohol and uh, dot each and every one of these. Um, and the reason why this painting is called Faded um, has to do with my story. If you're not familiar with um, who I am and my art journey, you can definitely learn more at the Art Spread. If you go to the Our Artist page or if you go to my um, products on the shop page, you can click on them and then get to read more about my story and the inspiration behind some of them. So this one is called Faded because um, when I first began painting, I did it as a means of escape, and um, I was involved in an unfortunate accident, and it changed my entire life. Um, it changed who I am, and parts of me felt lost, um, and like I was fading away, and I missed out on a lot of things, um, and it was uh, something that was really something I struggled with. I still struggle with today. And so I just felt like I was fading away. I felt like I, I was faded. So that's what this piece represents. Next, we have Bloom. This is also an alcohol ink painting, nine by 12 on mineral paper. So this paper is very fluid and delicate and beautiful. Um, and it's also custom matted to 12 by 16. Uh, this one is called Bloom, and this is when I began processing uh, feelings of hope and just expressing what it's like to go through something and bloom from that in a completely different way than you expected, um, like a flower would or even a butterfly, um, just going through something that's life-changing and coming out of it in full bloom and, and really seeing uh, the effects of it and even the good that can come from it if, if you choose to use it that way. So again, um, this is alcohol ink and all of those detailings are done with a brush, a paintbrush. And you can also find this piece um, at theartspread.org slash shop. Uh, this is another original alcohol ink painting that I have available. And here is Shiver. So this piece is um, very telling of a person who um, experiences PTSD. So if you've never experienced a traumatic event or PTSD, that's incredible and I'm so happy for you. Um, for those of us who have, uh, you might be able to relate, um, you know, talking about a traumatic experience and having to recall it. Uh, can send us in the shiver. So that's what this piece represents. There's a blog post that I was able to write um, that I was invited to write by the art spread and it's connected to this piece. So you can read about the blog post as well 
It's called Painting with PTSD, um, and it's on the blog talk page at theartspread.org. Um, and you can see how those connections are made with this painting, and there's even some tips in that blog post about um, my coping mechanisms and other ways that we can um, try to cope when living with PTSD. So this one is called Shiver, and this one is actually 11 by 14 on Yupo paper. So this paper is a, um, a lot more rigid than mineral paper is. Okay. Next, I'm going to move on to the prints that I have available with the art spread. Um, right now I have four prints available and I have two more originals that are listed, but they're very large pieces. Um, so it's a bit difficult to show you on here. Uh, but you could definitely go onto the shop page and get to see more of that. Um, and, and some of them are actually published in exhibitions and in art books. So it'd be really nice to, um, you know, be able to show you that and get your, your feedback on those pieces. So next I'll move on to the art prints. This one is called His Chair. Um, and this paper that it's printed on is a fine art velvet um, archival quality art print. So when framed properly behind glass, this can last a hundred years. So I love this paper because it allows the art print to act as original artwork. It's very beautiful, very delicate, lots of texture. Um, so you can really, um, you know, enjoy the quality of this print. Again, this is called His Chair and it's on an eight and a half by 11. Next up is Dreams. And this one I sketched a long time ago with charcoal and pencil. And before I even became an artist, my mom saw this and said, she sees me in this, that I'm the person standing here staring at my work displayed in front of me, which I thought is very interesting because as artists, we all dream that you know, our work would be in a gallery or museum or for solo exhibitions. So this um, kind of represents um, artists like myself who have those hopes. And I really like that it's almost as if you're staring into a portal or into someone's thoughts. It doesn't just flatten or end um, in a two-dimensional way. It, it looks like you're getting a glimpse into someone's inside world, you know? That's also a fine art quality print on eight and a half by 11. Up next, we have Lady Justice. And this is definitely a fan favorite that I've noticed. Um, it's, I think that's great because I think what she represents um, is what we need more of, social justice. And this piece, this original piece was done with alcohol, uh, I'm sorry, charcoal and watercolor. And so again, this is, the quality of these prints are really amazing. The colors come out extremely vivid and very true to color. Um, so I really appreciate about that. So that's Lady Justice. And lastly, we have tons of color in this piece. This one is another fine art quality print. It's called Release. And there is just color splashing all over this one. It'll definitely brighten up any space. Um, and this is actually one of my earliest pieces I had ever painted. Um, it's with watercolor. The original is with watercolor. And it's called Release because as I started painting, I was very tight, very restricted. And as I began going through the process of the painting, I just began to loosen and open up. And you can see here that it gets very messy and wild and less intentional. And that's when I realized painting was my therapy, um, that I could really let go of a lot of the anxiety and depression and trauma that I was holding and release it onto the canvas. Um, so that's what this painting represents to me. Um, you know, it's definitely one that has such deep meaning, but when you look at it, you, you can still feel um, you know, alive and excited and inspired by it. So I really appreciate that. Um, and 
that's all I have for um, this social media takeover. We went through some of the art pieces. If you'd like to see more of me, you can at projecttherapaint.com um, or go on to theartspread.org. I'm all over that. <laughs> and again, thank you so much for being here with me and with the art spread and for following along with my journey. All right, see you.